Jeffy. But dang, I already got you a microphone. That's not a microphone, that's a razor. What's your razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. God damn, bitch! You got a bunch so big, you gotta break out the power tools? I got a song about that. We don't wanna hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cat piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are you are grounded. How am I grounded, Daddy? I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. Ew, Jeffy, put that out. Ow! Oh, there's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45 minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B. A B? Well, I B positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse steakhouse. Aww. Anyway, Marvin, I was seeing if you'd watch the tots for us. The last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that blooming onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yep, phone number's on the back. See you later. What? I didn't say yes. <sighs> come inside, kids. <sighs> Who was at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Dudes. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lessons. la la la! <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress, and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and, ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Um, um, ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm gonna be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. You know, I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh yeah, you got it! Let me get on it! Whoa, it's so stretchy! And long! Alright kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey Mr. Marvin! We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo! What?! It tastes horrible though! What, Daddy, what are they talking about?! This, Daddy, it's dildo! What? Where'd you find this? I found it in Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick! Well, well Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. Alright kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know. 
Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you want to know what I think about your green beans? No! Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Woo! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I'm gonna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, I did it! I'm a shiver! Me too! You wanna run around and have some break stuff? Yeah! Woo! No, 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 don't run around and break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! Downstairs. The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? <sighs> we don't need the stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, that's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Huckerdo. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump on the bus. Hey Susie, look! I'm a chicken! Watch me fly! <laughs> but chickens can't fly! This one can! One of Woo! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. <laughs> My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. But that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other Hucker, don't so you're gonna do one more or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. You stay in that room and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Ah, oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh. oh my god, you hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Daddy! Daddy, the fucker dude's gotta go! Jeffy, language! No, mommy, that little girl broke my cat piano, so I hit her in the head with a baseball bat! You did what, Jeffy? Baby, go check on her. Okay. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. They're here! You know, you're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The bloomin' onion was crispy. And guess who works there part-time as a waitress? The baby's 
babysitter. Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today. And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today. Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh, a math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8.01, so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife, Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a ten-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to Bend it over. Tell me, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> Come on, kids, we're getting out of here. We're going home. This house is sick, sick. What's wrong, Mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up. Get your ass home. We're going. Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? Hey, Danny, can you give me 50 bucks so I can buy Fooskit Ball? What's Fooskit Ball? It's a game PJ was selling at his garage sale. I don't have 50 bucks, Jeffy. Well, I guess I left my garage sale for nothing. No, hold on, PJ. I just got to give my dang to puppy dog eyes. Works every time. All right, daughter. Can you please give me 50 bucks so I can buy Fusca Ball? No, Jeffy, we can't afford it. I hate you! Sorry, kid. Come back when you actually have the money. <laughs> Jeffy, I'm sorry. We just don't have money to buy stupid stuff like that. Marvin, our Chick-fil-A's here. Oh, so you have money to buy food, but you don't have 50 bucks to give me for Fusca Ball? Dang it, they forgot our root beer. Oh, I hate it when they forget our drinks. Leave the lowest review possible. Okay. Look, Jeffy. <gasps> I got an idea. Why don't you become an Uber Eats driver? What do Uber Eats? It's a food delivery service, so all, you just get paid to deliver people food. You can make 50 bucks in a day, and then you can buy your own damn Fusket Ball. Okay. I'm gonna go sign up right now. Baby, now that he has a job, he'll be out of the house, and that'll give us some alone time to eat our Chick-fil-A. Yay! All right, Cody, it's your turn to bowl. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Strike, bitches! Wait, no, you're supposed to roll it. You can't throw it, Cody. Yeah, that's cheating! Hey, guys, I'm about to go to work. Oh, where do you work, Jeffy? I'm an Uber Eats driver, so I deliver people's food. Oh, well, we're hungry, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Like, can we ride with you? Yeah, sure, come on. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Ah, that'll do her. Lungs all mowed. I love the smell of freshly cut grass. Honey, I'm done mowing the lawn. I'm parched. Pour me a glass of Sunkist. Honey, the Sunkist. I want it now. Here you go, my hardworking man. Thanks, honey. Bitch, you didn't put any ice in this. I've been out in the hot sun all day, and you think I want to come inside and have some room temperature Sunkist? I'm sorry, I forgot. You know I like three pieces of ice in my Sunkist. I'll go get you some. Here you go. I don't even want it anymore. It's ruined. Okay, honey. Well, what would you like me to cook you for dinner? Well, I can't even trust you to pour me a decent glass of Sunkist. I don't think I can trust you to make dinner. I think we should just order some Uber Eats. Maybe some Mexican, like a chimichanga, and a chicken quesadilla, and some chips and queso. That sounds good, honey. Kids, get down here. Yes, mother? I'm hungry. Well, me and your mother were thinking about ordering Mexican food tonight. Ooh, well, in that case, I would love some steak fajitas. Ooh, and some of that extra white stuff all over it. Sour cream? Uh, uh yeah, that. I want a cheeseburger. Now, hold on just a darn second. Did you kids do your homework? Uh, uh no. no. Well, then you Mexican not have any food tonight, so go upstairs and do your homework. Aww. We'll try again tomorrow night. All right, honey, I'm gonna order some of this Mexican food. Okay, Jeffy, where are we picking up food from? It says we gotta get some Mexican food from a food truck. You guys like Mexican food? Last time my family got food from a food truck, my mom had to have part of her colon removed, and now she has a colostomy bag. All right, guys, I just got the food from the food truck. Can you guys hold the food for me while I drive? Yeah, I will. Give me a bag. All right, hold that one, Junior. Oh, it smells so good. All right, guys, hold this one. Yeah, sure, dude. Woo, 
this shit smell good. Well, let's see what they got. Oh, guys, they got a chicken quesadilla. Oh, and some queso. Wait, wait, does that say nachos? It sure does. Oh, nigga, I love nachos. Oh, Jeffy, can we eat some of it? Sure, I don't think they would mind. Just don't spill any in my car. Oh, awesome. All right, guys, we're here. Stop eating it and box it back up. Muy delicioso, sir. Hey, Junior, you want the other half of my changa? My quesadilla was mid. Hey, watch out, you almost stepped in the queso. No, Cody, I don't want any of the chimichanga. I got full off the nachos, but box it back up because Jeffy has to deliver it. Oh, man. Okay. I hope you're hungry. Food's here. It is the food. Thank you, sir. Honey, it smells delicious. What the? There's queso everywhere. The driver must have hit every speed bump on the way here. Still looks better than you're cooking. <laughs> Wait, what, what the hell is this? Is this a half-eaten quesadilla? What is that? And a half-eaten chimney? It looks like someone ate our food. This is unacceptable. I'm gonna have to file a complaint. All right, Jeffy, what's the next food place we're going to? I don't know, but I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hey, is this the Uber Eats driver? Yeah. Are you full? Cause you ain't half my goddamn food. Now I think you need to issue me a refund. No. No? What do you mean no? You ain't half my goddamn food and now you won't give me my money back? You need to give me a refund right now. You'll be fine. Who is that? I don't know, I think it was your prank call. But our next order is chicken filet. I love chick fil a all right, Junior, I think there's some nuggies in here if you want a peep game. Oh, I want some nuggies. You guys want some nuggies? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to sip on this milkshake for a little bit. Cookies and cream as fuck. Oh, honey, a Chick-fil-A is almost here. Oh, good. I can't wait to eat my cold salad with extra boiled egg. And I can't wait for my cookies and cream milkshake. I'm going to be a fat piece of shit tonight. But, Boyney, we're supposed to be on a diet. I'll go on the diet tomorrow. Tonight, cookies and cream. Boyney, you're already cheating on our diet? It's only day one. I cheat on everything, even you. What? Uh, hey, look, our food's almost here. I'm going to go wait by the door like a dog. Cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream. Ooh, it says he's pulling up cookies and cream. Does anyone see the house number 2159? No, I can't see anything. It's dark. And also, I'm eating chicken nuggets. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there he is. Milkshake time. Oh, I can't wait to drink it. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's probably just turning around. Guys, I can't find this house anywhere. Yeah, it's really dark. You can't see any of the house numbers. I think we should just go home because my stomach hurts really bad and I have to poop from eating all this food. Me too. Yeah, and we can keep all the food because this cookies and cream milkshake is yummy as tits. <laughs> okay, now it's milkshake time. Yummy. Wait, where the fuck are you going? I'm right here, dumbass. Oh, I'm going to have to chase him down. Hey, hey, jerk off. I'm right here. Stop the car. Jesus, what is wrong with this guy? Hey, hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? My house is back there. I couldn't see the numbers. Well, just give me my food and my milkshake. Okay. Jesus. Here's your food. Thank you. And here's your milkshake. Thanks. What? My milkshake is half fucking drank. Yeah, it was good. What? What the fuck? What? Hey! Hey! Hey, asshole! Hey! God damn it! Karen, I'm so mad I'm shaking. What's wrong, Boiny? That stupid ass, dumb ass, idiot ass, ass Uber driver drove past the house twice and I had to chase him down, and then when I caught up with him, he drank half my goddamn milkshake. Well, good, Boiny. You're not supposed to be having milkshake. It's not good, Karen. It's bullshit. I'm gonna need some fries and calm down. French fries? Boiny, you're supposed to be on a diet. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. He ate all my fries, Karen. It's just crumbs left. Well, good. They're not healthy for you. Well, what about my Colton's chicken nugget? Did he touch that? God help him if he touched that one. It's a one piece chicken nugget, Karen. Karen, he ate all my food, that bastard! Well, he didn't mess with my Cobb salad! Of course not, Karen, it's a Cobb salad, it's disgusting, it's not even food! I'm gonna get in my cop car, and I'm gonna pull him over and arrest his ass! Boyney, you're overreacting! No, I'm not, Karen, it's my cookies and cream! Nobody messes with my cookies and cream! Boyney, just requests a refund! That's not good enough, Karen, I want him dead! I want the death penalty! Junior, that guy was so rude! All I wanted was half of his milkshake! I know, people are so mean these days. Oh, there's that bastard. Pull over, jerk off! Uh, guys, 12 is behind us. Tom Brady? No, nigga, the police. Pull over, Jeffy. I wasn't speeding or anything. Hey! Hey, roll the window down, dickweed! Was I speeding, officer? No, but you drank my cookies and cream milkshake, so now you're going to jail. Get out of the car! Order, order, order. Order. 
I am the Honorable Judge Uber, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy, the Uber Eats driver, versus Brooklyn Tea Guy, the customer. Mr. Guy, you are accusing Jeffy of eating, quote unquote, your goddamn food and half of your cookies and cream milkshake? Oh, I'm not accusing him. I know he did it. He said it was good. He drank my fucking milkshake, that goon. Mr. Guy, control yourself. Justice will be served. Jeffy, did you consume this man's food and half of his cookies and cream milkshake? Well, I didn't eat the food, but I did drink half the milkshake and it was good. Well, that's like saying you shot the sheriff, but you did not shoot the deputy. If you didn't eat this man's food, then who did? My friends in the car with me, they were hungry. Well, I hope your friends die too. Mr. Guy, control yourself. Now, Jeffy, you are an Uber Eats driver. It is your job to deliver other people's food. But you decided it would be a good idea to eat and drink other people's food. This is one of the most horrendous crimes I've ever heard of. So I am sentencing you to give this man a full refund for his food, and I am banning you from ever being an Uber Eats driver ever again! Hold on, <clears throat> and that is an order! Not good enough, sir! Not good enough! He drank my cookies and cream milkshake! Cookies and cream! I feel like not enough has been done here. There's gotta be a way to get the cookies and cream milkshake out of his stomach. I want his taste buds not to have ever tasted my milkshake. I want the men in black machine to erase the memory of him drinking and enjoying my cookies and cream milkshake. I want him to throw up the milkshake right here in court and I drink it. I don't want him to experience happiness ever again because he stole my happiness from me! Well, I can order him to buy you a new cookies and cream milkshake. Is, is that good? No, that's a different cookies and cream milkshake. I want my original milkshake out of his body. Well, unfortunately, I can't do that. So you're going to have to accept the fact that your milkshake is digesting in his belly. Then I want his poop. Yeah, his poop. I want to keep it so I can have part of that original milkshake. Done. Jeffy, I order you to poop in a container and give it to Mr. Guy. God damn it! Will someone please glue that thing down? Thank you, sir. Court is dismissed. Now, hold on. He ate my food too, your honor. Listen, we can't separate his food from his poop and your food from his poop, so you two just split the poop 50-50 and figure it out. I'm going home. Hey, Daddy. Oh, hey, Jeffy. How was your Uber Eats job? It was great. Hey. What are you doing here? Your son is gonna poop in this container and I'm gonna eat it. What? He ate my cookies and cream milkshake and I want it back. So go on, Jeffy. Squirt out my cookies and cream milkshake. Poop! Poop! Damn it! Poop! Why won't you poop? That's disgusting! No, it's revenge! Poop! Officer Guy, get in here! Yes, sir? Guy, I was looking through your file and I found some troubling news. Oh, what's that, sir? Well, it seems you never finished the fifth grade. Oh, yeah, that. Well, you see, I grew up in Brooklyn, and then I moved away, and I went to a different school. So I just went right into sixth grade instead of finishing fifth grade. Well, that's not good, guy. We can't have a police officer that never finished fifth grade. Sir, what does it matter if I never learned all my shapes or whatever? Guy, we're going to need you to repeat the fifth grade. What? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. This is like the plot of an Adam Sandler movie or something. Guy, either you go back to the fifth grade, or you turn in your badge. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll do it. Hey, Karen. Brady, you're home early from work. Yeah, the chief says I can't be a cop anymore until I finish the fifth grade. You never finished the fifth grade, Brady? No. Well, how'd you graduate high school? I don't know, Karen. I don't understand it either, okay? I just have to go for one day to show him how smart I am. Oh, boy, Penelope's not gonna like this. I'll talk to her. Penelope, get in here. What do you want, Dad? Well, Penelope, your daddy never finished fifth grade, so I'm gonna be going to school with you tomorrow. But look, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be like best friends. We'll hold hands, and, and I'll protect you from all the bullies. This is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me! Huh. Well, I'm not worried. She'll love it by tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe you're coming to school with me. This is so embarrassing! Hey, I don't like it either, Penelope, okay? But it's only for one day. I just have to go for long enough to prove that I'm smarter than a fifth grader without having to meet Jeff Foxworthy. Just don't acknowledge me, okay? Okay, but I don't know why you're so embarrassed of me. You know, your dad was actually pretty cool when he was in school. I'll have you know I could flick my boogers farther than anyone else in the class. That's disgusting! And, and guess what? I was the first one in my friend group to get his first kiss. I mean, it was with a dude, and it was on a dare, but he was a pretty good-looking dude. You know, I pulled hose. I mean, they were guy hose, but I still felt cool. Ugh. Oh, the bus is here. Just don't talk to me and don't sit next to me. Penelope. Ugh. Penelope, I don't see why I can't sit next to you. I'm your father. Oh, you must want to say bye to your daughter. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually going to school. Is that legal? It's court ordered, actually. All right, well, then go sit down. 
Really? I guess anybody can get on the bus. What, Dad? I told you not to sit next to me! Well, I don't have anywhere else to sit, Penelope. I don't have any friends. Besides, this is like bonding time. No, it's not! Wait, okay, who's the asshole? You wanna go? Wait, uh, I mean, ne never mind, young king. Uh, Wakanda forever! What, Dad? Look, it's my first day, and I don't want any trouble, okay? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, hey, would you like my lunch money? Oh, cool! Yeah, there you go, bro, dog. See, I'm already making friends. What are we gonna eat for lunch now? We can eat when we get home. Uh, the wheel of the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Shut up, Dad! Hey, guys, look, I got a butter. Oh, oh, yeah, well, check this out. Dad, ew! You're lucky I don't have a booger. I'd be flicking up a storm. Dad, what are you doing? But I don't have a seat, Penelope. No, you can't sit here. Go sit up there. I don't want to sit by myself. I'll get lonely. Just go. Uh, uh, hey, homeboy, can I sit with you? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> We're all good, brother. Uh, okay. Well, this brings me back. Ooh, a pencil. But don't play with your pencil. Don't play with your pencil. Oh, but it's so cool, it's like a spaceship. Pew, 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 pew. Or, or, or it's like a lightsaber. No, 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 take that, Darth Vader. No, 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 no. All right, Cross, before we get started today, we have a new student. Would you like to come up here and introduce yourself? Oh, no, I'm a baseball player in the World Series. Bah, just hit that bitch out of the park. Home run, and the crowd goes wild. Dad, the teacher's calling you. Go up there. Hold on, Penelope, I gotta hit one more home run, and I win the World Series. Oh, uh, excuse me! The guy playing with his pencil! Stop playing with your pencil! Come up here! What if my wiener was this long? I mean, not very thick, but it's a pretty good size. Although it's too pointy. Uh, uh me? me? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Oh, so embarrassing! Alright, everyone. This is the new student. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I, I'm a Brooklyn T guy. N no cap. Facts, you know? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Uh, you look like you're too old to be here. Well, well, I am, because you see, I never graduated elementary school, so they're making me do it again. So, you know, stay in school, kids. You know, keep keep off that TikTok, because I know you guys like TikTok, right? You, you seen that kid that does this? He's got, like, the backpack and he flosses. You guys have seen that, right? Or, or maybe you know this one. Charlie bit my finger. Ouch, Charlie. You, you, you remember that? I wonder what they are doing. Uh, anyway, I'm Penelope's dad, but uh, she doesn't want you to know that because she's she's embarrassed, you know, because she came out my nutsack. <laughs> Shit slaps my legs when I walk. <laughs> talking talking free balling. Anyway, don't make fun of Penelope too much. She just started her period. You know that that's that's when you bleed out of your gooch. I'm really glad us guys don't have to worry about that. The closest we have is when we eat too much Taco Bell and our butthole bleeds. Am I right? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I, I'm a cop. So, uh, but not right now, you know, so if anybody's got that Mary Jane, hit a brother up, you know, that, that devil's lettuce, that jazz cabbage, homeboy in the back knows what I'm talking about. All right, that's enough from you, go sit down. Okay, so Penelope, how'd I do? I hate my life! Oh, you teenage girls and your emotions, just wait till you grow up and have real problems. Hey, Penelope, I heard you just started your period. Ugh, I'm gonna die! No, you're not, it's only gonna bleed out for a few days, every month, for the rest of your life. Hey, do you wanna be friends? Oh, you're Penelope's dad, right? Yeah. I'll be your friend if you give me brownie points and smash your daughter one day. Hmm, you know it took balls to say that to me. I like you. Hey, you want a lightsaber fight? Of course I want a lightsaber fight! Come on. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I can't believe this is my life! Alright, class, we have a spelling test today. So everyone, get out a piece of paper, and I'm gonna read off random words, and you have to spell them. Oh, shoot. Hey, Penelope, can I borrow some paper? You brought a backpack to school, but no paper? Uh, there's nothing in the backpack. I just brought it because it looked cool. I got it from smlmerch.com. Link in the description. Ugh, fine. Thank you. Okay, Teach, I'm ready for this spelling test. What's the first word gonna be? Cat? Dog? Something like that? The first word you gotta spell is possum. Well, that's easy. Possum. P-O-S-S-U-M. Duh. Hey, Penelope, you spell it right? Turn around, Dad. Stop looking at my paper. Wait, Penelope, what the hell are you doing? Why'd you start it with an O? That's how you spell possum. No, it's not, Penelope. Is your brain okay? It starts with an O, Dad. It's pronounced possum, not a possum. It's not a French possum, Penelope. Stupid. All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pterodactyl. This is easy. Did you spell this one right, Penelope? Yes, Dad. What, Penelope, are you having a stroke or something? Pterodactyl does not start with a P. Possum starts with a P, and pterodactyl starts with a T. The P is silent. What, why would they do that, Penelope? Why would they have a secret P? What's the secret about? You're gonna fail this test. No, you're gonna fail this test, and then I'm gonna have to ground you. You're the worst! Learn to spell! All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pneumonia. I know how to spell pneumonia. I'm a doctor. Hey, Penelope, did you get this one right? Yes, Dad. Wait, Jesus, Penelope, what is with you and all these P's? The 
P as silent! Pneumonia does not start with a P. I know this. I'm a doctor. I don't see how. It starts with an N. It starts with a P. No, it doesn't. Class, no talking while you're taking the test or you fail. No, no, teacher, I have a question. Okay, what have you been teaching my daughter? Because she thinks possum starts with an O, pterodactyl starts with a P, and pneumonia also starts with a P. But what is this? Because that's the correct way you spell those words. But really? No, 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 no. I, I have to check this out. Hold on. Let me just Google it real quick. What? what? Oh, no shit. Huh. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Look, I haven't had to spell things in a long time, okay? Well, thank you for giving everyone the answers. Anyway, Crass, we'll try another spelling test tomorrow. Now what we're gonna do is a science experiment. Get going, Dad. Now I have to take another test tomorrow. Yeah, well, I I, I knew those were the answers the whole time. No, you didn't! Y yes, I did. I was just trying to let everybody know. You know, just, just help a brother out, right? Right, dog? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, why are we making him sit in the back, huh? That's that's messed up. There needs to be some changes around here. I, I got your back, bro. All right, Kras. For today's science experiment, I'm going to show you the chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda. In this bottle, I have vinegar. And in this balloon, I have baking soda. When I lift the balloon up, the baking soda will drop into the vinegar, causing a chemical reaction, and the gas will inflate the balloon. Allow me to demonstrate. That with my butthole. Huh, that's pretty neat. Hey Penelope, you wanna be my partner? Nope, I'm good. We're gonna be partners. Alright, Chris, now I'm gonna come around and give you the tool so you can recreate this experiment. Alright, Cody, flip it, flip it, flip it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Sploosh. Oh look, oh look how big it's getting! Oh, that's hot. I I am aroused. Oh boy. Okay, Jeffy, yeah, flip it! This shit's about to be crazy. <laughs> It's so fizzy, oh my god, I should do it, it's so fizzy, oh my god, it's so crazy! <laughs> oh, this looks so cool! Come on, Penelope, flip ours! Okay. Oh, this is gonna be great, here it goes. Let's do it. What? No, it's not. What, what is happening? What? Come on, man, nothing's happening! What? What did you do wrong? I, I didn't do anything wrong, it's just, it's not working! This is dumb! Why are we even doing this? This is stupid! Why are we going through all this trouble? We could just blow it up with our mouths! We have lungs for a reason! Th That's not the point, Dad! I don't care if it's the point! This is stupid! <sighs> Teacher, this is stupid! If something went wrong with your experiment, it's because you didn't follow directions! What? Didn't follow directions? What are you talking about? She lifted up the balloon, the little shit fell in the bottle, and then nothing happened! Come on, man! Alright, Kraus, the next thing we're gonna do is math! So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hold up a math card, and whoever shouts out the correct answer first will get one Skittle. Now let's get started. Yes, something I'm finally good at. I'm good at math. Hey, Penelope, my mouth is about to be full of Skittles. All right, first question, nine minus six. Ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Three. Correct. Catch. Oh, that's good. What the hell? I, I didn't know we could just shout it out. I thought we were raising hands. Okay, I got the next one. All right, next question. Nine plus eleven. George Bush! Twin Towers! Inside job! Guys, shut up! The Pentagon is the most surveillance building in the world. You're telling me it only got seven frames of a blurry object hitting it? That's not the answer to the math problem. The gas station next door got the surveillance footage taken by the FBI? Eighteen! Twenty! D -d Twenty! That is correct, Penelope! Ah! Mm. Um. Damn it! I wanted a Skittle! Alright, the next question is... Nine plus twelve! Twenty-one! 21. I, I said it first! No, I said it first! No, I said it first! I said it first! I said it first! Ugh. Good job, Penelope! Ah! Um. No, 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 no. I clearly said it first. Shut up, Dad! No, this teacher is discriminating against us. Me and my boy back there. Yeah, he hasn't given either one of us a skill. I think it's a skit problem. Start getting the math problems right and you'll get a skill. No, 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 no. I'm done with this. I'm about to come up there and take the whole damn bag of Skittles. I'd like to see you try. Okay, bet. I'm about to throw haymakers. Yo, dog, you gonna back me up? What? Let's get him. Come on. What's good, dog? You wanna go? Come on. I bet you won't do anything. Come on. Do something. Do something. Do something. <laughs> Right the eye. You guys see the teacher hit me? Wait. Hey Penelope, your dad's crying in front of the whole class. This is the most embarrassing day of my life. Well, guy, it looks like you found a loophole. We agreed to drop the charges on the teacher if he would pass you from the fifth grade. So congratulations, you passed the fifth grade. Yes, that's right, I'm a man, even though my eye hurts. But looking back over your file, I saw that you never graduated kindergarten either. Ah, oh, sh. You better wake up, boy! What's wrong, Dad? I told you to wash them damn dishes! I did! Oh, no, you didn't! Come on! Uh, oh, so you washed the dishes, huh? What's this? These were not here before. That's because I ate! 
day. Well, how was I supposed to know there were dishes now? Boy, don't talk back to your daddy. Wash them damn dishes. Okay. Cody, why are you out of bed? It's past your bedtime. Well, dad woke me up to do the dishes. Damn, Skippy, you gonna wash these dishes? Go to bed. After you wash these dishes? No, go to bed first. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Damn it, you grounded for talking back, boy. Go to your room. We don't want to see you for a week. And no toothpaste. Yeah, I better not see no clean ass teeth. <laughs> I hate my life. I wish I could just disappear. Hey, Cody. What? Who are you? It's me, Hagrid. I, I don't know who you are. Mom, Dad, there's a homeless man in the house. No, 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 no. Listen, you're a wizard, Cody. I, I'm a wizard. And you're rich. Filthy rich. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Mom, Dad. No, 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 no. Just come with me and I'll take you to your safe. It, it sounds like you're trying to kidnap me. Nah, it'll be fine. Come on. Okay, well, I guess it's better than being here. Come on, Cody, how about my motorcycle? Hold on, I, ju I just have a few questions. Where are we going and should I tell my parents? Whoa, 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 those aren't your parents. Your real parents are dead, and those dead parents made you filthy rich. Come on, let's check it out. We think you're safe. Uh, okay. This is your safe. This big thing? Yes, look. Holy mackerel, all this money's mine? Everything you see is yours. Wait, why do you have the combination of my safe? Because your parents trusted me, and they really shouldn't have. There used to be a lot more money than this. You see, I went to a wizard strip club, and there was floating titties all over my face. Okay, well, I'm going to be changing the password. Wait, what's this red thing? This! This is mine. Are you sure it's not mine? Because it's in my safe. Yeah, it's mine. Just hurry up, grab some cash. I have a list of things for you to buy. Okay. Like an owl, hurry! An, an owl? Okay, fine, I guess I'll good. Okay, I think I got everything on the list. I just can't believe I'm loaded. Yeah, that's crazy! Uh, oh, yeah, uh, here, here's for helping. Thanks. Uh, so how do I get to Hogwarts? There! That That's a brick wall. No, it's a magical wall. You run as fast as you can into that wall, and you appear in front of Hogwarts! Really? You're not screwing with me? No, come on, do it! Okay, if you say so. Ow! Oh, oh, shit! Ow, that hurt! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! Stupid! Come on, follow me. I'll take you to Hogwarts. Dick? This is Hogwarts. Are you sure? Yes. Now go grab your owl, go inside, and make some friends. You never told me why I need the owl. You're also famous! What? I'm rich and I'm famous? What am I famous for? There was a guy who killed your parents. He tried to kill you, too. But he couldn't. That's why he left a scar on your face. You're the boy who lived, wait, Potter. Wait, 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 wait. So, so somebody killed my parents and he's trying to kill me? Yes. Now go inside and have some fun. No, who's trying to kill me? Welcome to Hogwarts. What? I, Hagrid, don't leave. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, just let me squeeze in. Uh, hey, you guys know what I'm supposed to do with this owl? It's supposed to go in your dorm room. I have a dorm room? I have to live here? Well, take it off the table. Put it in the chair. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Let me just... Hi. Hi, I'm Penelope Granger. And I'm Nigel Weasley. Oh, hey, I'm Cody Potter. <gasps> Holy cricket, you're Cody Potter. I've read about you in a book. You're famous. Wait, there's a book about me? And you're rich. I'm poor. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, so there's a book about me? Also, I heard somebody's trying to kill me. You guys know anything about that? Yes, we do, but we can't say his name. It's scary. O okay, but I am going to need to know his name because he's trying to kill me. So, I mean, clearly somebody told you guys his name because it's the name you're not going to say. So could somebody tell me? I mean, you could just whisper it. That'd be fine. Shh. The sorting ceremony's beginning. Okay, you could, could you just tell me what he looks like? Shh. Okay. Hello, students. Welcome to Hogwarts. I'm Professor Dumbledore, and I will call you up one by one and let you wear my hat. And he'll tell you where to go. I hope I'm in Ravenclaw. Oh, hi, Bommy, Swivering. What, why are they letting the hat do it? Can't we just pick the house for ourselves? Also, the guy who's trying to kill me, is, is he here right now? Like, could you guys point him out? Just give me a hint or something? Well, if it isn't Cody Potter. That's Junior Malfoy. He's mean. And look at those ugly teeth. You must be a Weasley. I, is your family known for that? Yeah. Well, Cody Potter, I don't care if you're famous or rich. I hate you. Okay. Okay, the first kid is Jeffy. Hmm, not much going on in there. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Hoppingpuff? Does that mean I get to smoke weed? Alright, next kid is Junior. 
Man, I sure hope it's Slytherin. Slytherin! Slytherin! Oh, good. All right, next one, Penelope. I hope I get Ravenclaw. Huh, in your dreams. You're Gryffindor, go sit down. But I didn't even try the hat on. That's because he's tired. He told me before you came up here, you're Gryffindor, go sit down. Ugh. And Nigel, you're Gryffindor too. He's still tired. And uh, Cody, Cody Potter, you come up here. He has enough in him for one more. Uh, that hat doesn't have lice in it, does it? Because a lot of people have been wearing it. Uh, okay, screw me then. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Wait, okay, yeah, Hufflepuff. I like that, that's fine. Okay, so what happens now? It's time to eat! Oh, good. Um, c can you just tell me the guy's name? Like, can you at least tell me what letter it starts with? Let the feast begin! I ordered Applebee's to go! Oh my god, it looks so good! Now this is eating good in the neighborhood, isn't it? Yeah, Applebee's. How magical. Oh, Cody! Why are you gonna eat first? Do you want some pasta? I'm eating the burger, putter. Okay, you can have it. I think I lost my appetite. Cody, you have to eat something. We have a lot of classes later today. <sighs> I just got here and I found out someone's trying to kill me. What? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a nap until class starts. All right, class, today we're going to be learning how to fly a broom. The first thing you're going to do is look at your broomstick and yell, Up! 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 up. 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 I just picked mine up and started sweeping the floor with it. Very good, Jeffy! Up! 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 Ow, damn it! Up! Ow! 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 Teacher, my broom won't stop hitting me! Up. That's because you're doing it wrong! Up! I'm just going to Google up. it. Up! Porter! Up. No phones in class! Yeah, no phones in class, nerd. What? Hey, hey! Go get it. What? I'm gonna go get it. Whoa! Look at him go! Ugh, God damn it. Ugh, why'd you throw my phone, dick? Wow, that was amazing flying, Potter. You should be on the Quidditch team as a seeker. Okay. Can I be on the Quidditch team too? Sure. I'm gonna beat you in Quidditch. But what? Hello and welcome to the Hogwarts Quidditch Tournament! Now, usually what you're supposed to do is knock a ball through a bunch of hoops, but we took all the hoops down because all that really matters is this thing. If you catch the golden snitch, you win immediately. So just focus on this. Okay, now, go! You see that? Yeah, that thing's fast. Well, I'm gonna go catch it, because I have a Nimbus 2001 George Bush edition. Aw, I didn't know those came out yet. I'm not jealous. I could buy like 30 of those hoes, because I'm fucking loaded. I got all my money in Gringotts. Well, I'm gonna catch it before you. Nuh-uh. Uh, I'm about to catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it. Whoa, whoa, I lost control of my broomstick. I'm not controlling this. S somebody evil is. I wonder who it could be. Crash, crash your broom, die. Don't crash. Don't crash. What's, what's happening? Don't, don't crash. Don't listen. Don't, 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 don't crash. Don't crash. Whoa. Whoa, no. Someone help. Whoa. Penelope. Cody's about to die. It looks like someone's controlling his broom. <gasps> it's Professor Snipe. We got to do something about it. I'll go distract him. All right, then. Die. Crash. Don't crash your broom. Don't Teacher, I have a lighter at school. What? You have a lighter at school? You're not supposed to have that. You're in trouble. Let's go to the principal's office. Come on. We got to take her to the principal's office. But die. Come on! Okay. Whoa, 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 oh, hey, it stopped. Oh, look, the golden snitch. No. Hey, Cody, spit that out. <laughs> hey, look, I caught it. I guess I win. Cody Potter grabbed the snitch. Hufflepuff wins. Yay, Cody, you won. Yeah, Cody, you did it. You're the greatest Quidditch player ever. I think I just got lucky. No, that's pure skill, Cody. My broomstick looks like a carrot. All right, class. Welcome to Wizard Class 101. I am your teacher, Professor Snapey Two, and today I will be teaching you how to use your wand. See, I have a tiny wand because I am Asian. Everything I have is tiny, and it is very important that you pay attention in Wizard Class. Isn't that right, Potter? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, teacher. I was just texting my mom to let her know I'm rich and I'm not coming back home to that shithole. Oh, so you think you don't have to pay attention because you know everything. Well, what would I get if I added a powder root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Hmm. I don't know, dog. I just found out I'm a wizard and I'm rich today, so I've been kind of focusing on that. So just give me a few weeks. And I bet you couldn't also tell me how many grains of sand there are on Earth. Hmm. No one knows that. Hop off my cock, dog. Pick on someone else. All right, Cross. The first spell you're gonna learn is a little floating trick. 
you're going to take your stick and point it at whatever you want. And then you're going to say, Wingardium Leviosa. And then whatever you point it at should float. So try it. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey, Cody Potter, that, that spell will come in handy with your mom because she's so fat she can't get out of bed. So that, that, that spell will help her float because she's so fat. Hagrid, he's bullying me. Who? The blonde kid. Pay me to beat him up. Okay, I hear you. All right, kid, you're coming with me. But why? He paid me. Thanks, Hagrid. Oh, Cody, what kind of spell was that? Bully disappear, Oh, uh, that wasn't a spell. I just got cash. Wingardium oh, right. Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Whoa, 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 I'm making this desk float. Look, that's cool. Potter, you put that dust down. You don't want to hurt nobody. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try to put it down. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm in trouble. Cody, what in the world would you do that? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, it's true. Oh, Paul, you go to Dumbledore's office now. Ugh. Oh no, not Dumbledore. Hey, Dumbledore, I threw a desk at Professor Snape. The way of the wizard is not in which you seek, Potter. Okay. Whatever you do, don't go into the door upstairs. Why would you even tell me? Because I don't want you to go in there. It's almost like you want me to go in there. Well, I don't. Okay, I'm going to go check it out. I told him not to. Huh, this must be the door Dumbledore was talking about. Hi, Cody! What are you doing? Are you skipping class? No, Dumbledore told me not to go into this room, and now I want to. Oh, well, you can't go in there. He says do not enter. It would be against the rules, Cody. You know what? I think we should go in there now. Good thinking, Nigel. Let me just try to open this. Oh, it's not even locked. Burr, 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 burr. Whoa, is that a three-headed dog? You know, I'm more of a cat person myself. That's high Dog, it must be guarding the door. It eats people. Be careful. Well, Jesus, what is it even doing here? Okay, I'm gonna go ask Hagrid about it. Hey, Hagrid. Oh, hey there, Cody. How's school going? Yeah, uh, it sucks. Listen, I have a question. There's like this giant three headed dog, and I'm pretty sure he's yours. How do I get him to stop eating me? Oh, if you want to know that, that's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Ah, <sighs> you're bleeding me dry here, dog. Damn. All you have to do is play music or go to sleep. Really? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks. Alright, Hagrid said we have to play music for him to make him fall asleep, so does anyone have Spotify or something? I've got it, so I'll sing for him. <coughs> Be itchy, bitchy, spy, ah, we up your water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spy out. Up came the sun and tried to boil the rain and the itchy, bitchy, spy, ah. We're off the spout again! Wait, wow, he's actually asleep. Yeah, let's go take a look, see, innit? Alright. And look, a chessboard! And in that, Professor Quarrel! Hey, kids. Is that the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, it is, but I can't touch it yet. But if I beat you in chess, I can. Oh, well, you can't beat us in chess, we're British. <sighs> Bring it, hose. Alright, I'll go first in. Knight to E3! Uh, Nigel, I think you have to move it. What kind of wizard's chess is this? Oh, it's not, it's just regular chess. Oh, alright then. Go ahead. Great decent. There we go. <sighs> Pawn to A3! This is going to take a while. <laughs> You're done. Oh, I'm done. Watch this! Take that, you fool. <gasps> I can't believe I've lost it! Yes! I don't feel so good. I think I need to see the nurse. I'm gonna take him to the clinic. <laughs> hey Cody, guess what? I got a face on my head. Not this face. I actually got another face on the back of my head. Check this shit out. It's wild. Hello, Cody Potter. We meet again. I've never met you. I think I'd remember a face on the back of a guy's head. Are, are you guys like conjoined twins or something? Can you breathe under that towel? D does he like have to brush your teeth? You guys share the same throat. How does that work? No time for games, Potter. Give me the stone and we can bring your parents back to life. I didn't really know my parents. Like, they left me a lot of cash, and I'm worried if they come back, I won't get to keep it. Give me the Sorcerer's Stone now! I don't like your tone, and also, it's right there. You can just grab it. I can't! Hand it to me! Nah, you sound kinda evil. I, I don't really like any of this. If you won't give it to me, then you will die. Kill him! 
Wow, this stone looks like it's worth a lot of money. Hello, Kitty! Oh, hey, Dumbledore. I, I found the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, and also Professor Quirrell was evil. He had a face growing on the back of his head. You guys should probably do better background checks. The stone must be destroyed! Hand it over. That seems okay to me. Well, it's not. Hand it over. Okay. Chick ching What? Nothing! Yep. Uh, Hufflepuff wins! What? What? I win? What does that mean? Uh, hey guys, I, uh, I killed a man with my hands, and then Dumbledore told me I won. Well, it's time to pack your bags, Cody. We're going home for the summer holiday. What, home for the summer? I just got here today. I don't even think I learned anything. What? I never figured out what this owl is for. Like, why do I even have this? I haven't seen anyone else here with an owl. It's for mail. Mail? I have a phone. Oh, oh, also, the guy with the two faces that I killed, was that the guy who was trying to kill me? Because he, he did try to kill me. So, can we say his name now? Is that him? 